What's going on, Masterminds? I know it's been a really, really long time since I've published a video, but I am knee-deep in Anime War Episode 7. It's coming along very, very nicely. I did my Patreon uh, first showing to my patrons this morning in a uh, private stream for those guys over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash masterarmedia. They absolutely loved it, and I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm sorry for my lack of videos, but my main man, Melavelli, who is one of my biggest inspirations for becoming an animator in the first place, has just released a new animation. I'm really, really excited to watch this. His new Dragon Ball Absalon episode 7.2. I remember like in 2012, I think it was, or 2013, I, I used to be a proposal manager, which is like a government contracting kind of job nightmare. But I remember sitting at my desk one day, I was like eating lunch, uh, and I uh, watched a YouTube video, and it was Dragon Ball Absalon episode 2. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, what did I just witness? This was the most, I just couldn't believe like a fan made this and I was so completely mesmerized by it. I became religious about following Dragon Ball Absalon. So if you guys have not seen Dragon Ball Absalon, you have to go watch this series. Now I'm really, really excited to see what happens here. We just saw Time Patroller Gohan come in and I, it, from the thumbnail it looks like he is Super Saiyan Blue. So. This looks like it's gonna be a really cool fight. I've been following Melavelli. I saw like a, like a little clip on Instagram. And also with his reaction videos, he put this funny little like warning in the beginning. So he only wants to react you to react to up to a certain point. And he also, uh, what he said on Twitter, is that he doesn't want like a full reaction. Like he doesn't want people just straight, you know, basically uploading the video with like their their face reacting to it. One of the worst things people can do is like, they're, they're like reaction video and they literally just like, put the video, no, they put themselves down here and then they put like the whole video and they just sit there and watch it and like don't even react. React, nigga! React! So I understand what he's saying. He doesn't want reaction videos to basically just be uploading his whole video. So respecting him and respecting that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in the parts of my reaction that uh, that are the most reaction-y worthy. And I'm basically just gonna cut out everything else where I'm not talking. All right, so without further ado, let's watch Dragon Ball Absalon, episode 7.2. Let's see Time Patroller Gohan whoop some butt, turn Super Saiyan blue. I love his little beard stuff. He looks like, he looks like a beast. All right, well, let's do this. One thing I love about Dragon Ball Absalon is his landscapes. He always has like the most phenomenal landscape art. Like, I love the color of it, like the, you know, he's, it's like dark and ominous, but That's really smooth. The gate here on Earth. What? By protecting him, you jeopardize everything. What? So these guys working with the Saiyans? Like, is Gohan working with them? Take the oh, a female Saiyan. I will kill the Time Patrollers. Oh shit. Disturb the natural order. You're still this dude, here. This dude's oh, voice is so badass. Take the husband and kids. I will kill the time patrollers. Damn, that looks nice. Okay, trunks like blue. Nice. That's badass, dude. I love that sword, man. He's like so the the, the trunks in in Absalon has this like gigantic sword. I just love that. Shit. It reminds me of like uh, Cloud from Final Fantasy or something. The art the art in this episode looks really good, by the way. He's doing like some really interesting things with the line work. Oh wow, it just goes blue. Oh sh. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. This is this is the best part about Absalom. This is the best part. Is like how Melavelli does like that the like kung fu shit and then like the camera spinning around. God, I love that, man. He's a master at that kind of like martial arts animation. So damn good. Come on, Gohan. Damn. <laughs> So many frames, dude. Oh sh! What is that? Nukes? Oh damn! What are you gonna do? Run through it! What? Oh my god! It's too sick for words, bro. This is too lit. 
Straight flames! Look at this animation, dude. It's just like non-stop. This female Saiyan looks really cool. Ew, how cute. Oh look, it must be recess. Damn, did she just die? It can't be reasoned with. I need more power! <laughs> I have the power! Max power blue. Interesting fighting style you have. What do you call that? Damn. This episode's so sick. Yeah, he definitely didn't get him. He survived? Of course he survived. This dude is strong as shit. Yo, your art has gotten really good, Mel. Like you improved on the the line quality, the shading. It looks like a really clean episode. One of the most clean ever. So much like landscape movement and destruction always. Oh damn, his ribs broke? Oh man. Why does Gohan always get shafted, bro? In 5.3, Gohan got shafted too. Damn, dude. Bro, this is like. This is. This this episode is too ridiculous, man. Like the amount of work and frames that went into this is just so freaking mind blowing, dude. Like with like with my animations, like ninety percent of it's just like still frames with like can camera shake and like effects and stuff. Like Mellow Valley puts in like insane freaking work to do all these frames. Like I'm just like I'm completely shocked. Like the amount of of effort that must have gone into making this animation. It's just it's really like mind blowing and like motivational at the same time. But like I don't even want to know how many late nights he spent drawing this shit, dude. Oh damn, he just got like sniped. He's getting sniped. Oh shit. Damn. What the hell are you doing? Don't die again. Again? Again? What do you mean again? Oh no, he's gonna die, dude. You can even hear the sad music and shit. Uh oh, what's that? He lost blue. He's still, he's still going. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wait, but he lost blue, but damn, dude! Holy shit, the kick! Wait, the guy's Super Saiyan Four now? Okay, hold on a sec. I'm kind of confused, like, did Gohan go, like, ultimate form? Because, like, he was in blue, and then it seemed like he got, like, hit in the heart by one of those, like, piercing attacks. And now he's, he's, like, base form, but now he's actually able to hurt the guy? I'm a little confused. Maybe he went ultimate form or something? Oh, that's the warning. Okay, guys, so that was Melavelli's, Melavelli's warning. He said he doesn't want any reaction videos past this. So, uh, oh my god, man, this... <laughs> Damn, I, I gotta see what happens, but let me first finish like my review of this. This is just freaking, 7.2 is amazing. This is probably, I, I think uh, episode two is actually my favorite, but I think this has gotta be my next favorite episode. Like the the animation, Melavelli's like skills with, with camera movement and uh, anatomy and just like hand-to-hand -hand combat and everything, just unparalleled. Like, I mean, I, you really don't see stuff like, I mean, I've seen some other animators like try and pull it off, but I mean, he's he's the best on YouTube, in my opinion, that I've seen. And at least being able to consistently pump out episodes like this over and over and over again. It's just amazing, dude. I really love this. Uh, I'm a little confused as to like the story um, because, you know, we have the guy bringing back the old Saiyans. They're trying to take some of the Saiyans from Earth, I guess, back to Absalon and also resurrect Saiyans. Like, I think they're trying to bring back Broly and Zykor and some other people. Uh, they tried to bring back Raditz, I think, in the beginning, but he was like too weak and just like died off or something like that. Um, 
it, the story, it, it, that's one of my only criticisms about Absalon is like I have a tough time following the story. But uh, apparently if you read his manga, which is on his website, it's like a little bit easier to follow and understand like what's going on. But it's definitely like way more in depth than like anime war. Um, and there's so many characters in Absalon, so, which is really cool. Lots of new characters, new sayings and stuff. I absolutely love this. You guys gotta go check this out. I'm gonna end this review so I can finish watching the video. So thanks guys for stopping by and uh, thanks Malavelli for uh, publishing such an amazing animation for us Dragon Ball fans. All right guys, talk to you soon. Peace. Thank you.